This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This reading by Kara Schallenberg. Ulysses by James Joyce. Chapter 11b. Never would Richie forget that night, as long as he lived, never, in the gods of the old royal with little peak, and when the first note. Speech paused on Richie's lips. Coming out with a whopper now, rhapsodies about damn all, believes his own lies, does really, wonderful liar, but want a good memory. Which heir is that? asked Leopold Bloom. All is lost now. Richie cocked his lips a pout. A low, incipient note, sweet banshee murmured, All. A thrush, a throstle, his breath, bird sweet, good teeth he's proud of, fluted with plaintive woe, is lost. Rich sound, two notes in one there, blackbird I heard in the Hawthorne Valley. Taking my motives, he twined and turned them. Almost too new call is lost in all. Echo. How sweet the answer! How is that done? All lost now. Mournful he whistled. Fall, surrender, lost. Bloom bent Leopold ear, turning a fringe of doily down under the vase. Order. Yes, I remember. Lovely air. In sleep she went to him. Innocence in the moon. Brave. Don't know their danger. Still hold her back. Call name. Touch water. Jingle jaunty. Too late. She longed to go. That's why. Woman. As easy stop the sea. Yes, all is lost. A beautiful air, said Bloom, lost Leopold. I know it well. Never in all his life had Richie Goulding. He knows it well, too, or he feels. Still harping on his daughter. Wise child that knows her father, Dedalus said. Me? Bloom askance over liverless saw. Face of the all is lost, rollicking Richie once. Jokes old stale now. Wagging his ear, napkin ring in his eye, now begging letters he sends his son with. Cross-eyed Walter, sir, I did, sir. Wouldn't trouble only was I expecting some money. Wouldn't trouble only I was expecting some money. Apologize. Piano again. Sounds better than last time I heard. Tuned, probably. Stopped again. Dollard and Cowley still urged the lingering singer out with it. With it, Simon, it, Simon. Ladies and gentlemen, I am most deeply obliged by your kind solicitations. It, Simon. I have no money, but if you will lend me your attention, I shall endeavour to sing to you of a heart bowed down. By the sandwich bell in screening shadow, Lydia, her bronze and rose, a lady's grace, gave and withheld as in cool Glaucus Odenil Mina two tankards to her pinnacles of gold. The harping chords of prelude closed. A chord, long drawn, expectant, drew a voice away. When first I saw that form endearing, Richie turned. See Dedalus's voice, he said. Brain-tipped, cheek-touched with flame, they listened, feeling that flow, endearing flow over skin, limbs, human heart, soul, spine. Bloom signed to Pat, bald Pat, is a waiter hard of hearing, to set ajar the door of the bar. The door of the bar. So, that will do. Pat, waiter, waited, waiting to hear, for he was hard of hear by the door. Sorrow from me seemed to depart. Through the hush of air a voice sang to them, low, not rain, not leaves in murmur, like no voice of strings or reeds, or what do you call them dulcimers, touching their still ears with words, still hearts of their each his remembered lives. Good, good to hear. 
sorrow from them each seemed to from both depart when first they heard. When first they saw, lost Richie Poldy, mercy of beauty, heard from a person wouldn't expect it in the least, her first merciful love-soft, oft-loved word. Love that is singing, love's old sweet song. Bloom unwound slowly the elastic band of his packet. Love's old sweet sonne la gold. Bloom wound a skein round four fork-fingers, stretched it, relaxed, and wound it round his troubled double fourfold in octave gived them fast. Full of hope, and all delighted. Tenors get women by the score, increase their flow, throw flower at his feet. When will we meet? My head it simply jingle all delighted. He can't sing for tall hats. Your head it simply swirls, perfumed for him. What perfume does your wife? I want to know. Jing, stop, knock. Last look at mirror always before she answers the door. The hall. There? How do you? I do well. There? What? Or? File of cautious, kissing comfits in her satchel. Yes? Hands felt for the opulent. Alas, the voice rose, sighing, changed, loud, full, shining, proud. But, alas, t'was idle dreaming. Glorious tone he has still, cork air softer also their brogue. Silly man, could have made oceans of money, singing wrong words. Wore out his wife, now sings. But hard to tell. Only the two themselves, if he doesn't break down. Keep a trot for the avenue. His hands and feet sing, too. Drink, nerves overstrung. Must be abstemious to sing. Jenny Lind soup, stock, sage, raw eggs, half pint of cream. For creamy dreamy. Tenderness it welled, slow, swelling, full it throbbed. That's the chat. Ha! Give, take, throb, a throb, a pulsing, proud, erect. Words? Music? No, it's what's behind. Bloom looped, unlooped, nodded, disnodded. Bloom, flood of warm jam-jam, lick it up secretness, flowed to flow in music out, in desire, dark to lick flow invading, tipping her, tepping her, tapping her, topping her, tup, pores to dilate, dilating, tup, the joy, the feel, the warm, the... To pour o'er sluices, pouring gushes, flood, gush, flow, joy gush, tup throb, now language of love. Ray of hope is beaming. Lydia for Lidwell squeak scarcely here so ladylike the muse unsqueaked a ray of hope. Martha it is. Coincidence. Just going to write. Lionel's song. Lovely name you have. Can't write. Except my little prez. Play on her heart-strings, purse-strings, too. She's a—I called you naughty boy. Still the name. Martha. How strange. To-day. The voice of Lionel returned, weaker but unwearied. It sang again to Richie, Poldy, Lydia, Lidwell. Also sang to Pat, open-mouth, ear, waiting to wait. How first he saw that form endearing. How sorrow seemed to part. How look, form, word charmed him. Gould Lidwell, won Pat Bloom's heart. Wish I could see his face, though, explain better. Why the barber in Drago's always looked my face when I spoke his face in the glass. Still hear it better here than in the bar, though farther. Each graceful look. First night when first I saw her at Matt Dillon's in Terenure. Yellow, black lace she wore, musical chairs, we two the last, fate, after her, fate. Round and round, slow, quick round, we two all looked, halt. Down she sat, all ousted looked, lips laughing, yellow knees. Charmed my eye. Singing, waiting, she sang. I turned her music, full voice of perfume, of what perfume does your lilac trees. Bosom I saw, both full, throat warbling. First I saw. She thanked me. Why did she me, fate? Spanishy eyes. 
under a pear tree alone patio this hour in old madrid one side in shadow dolores she dolores at me luring ah alluring martha ah martha quitting all languor lionel cried in grief in cry of passion dominant to love to return with deepening yet with rising chords of harmony in cry of lionel loneliness that she should know must martha feel for only her he waited where here there try there here all try where somewhere come thou lost one come thou dear one alone one love one hope one comfort me martha chest note return come it soared a bird it held its flight a swift pure cry Soar silver orb, it leaped serene, speeding, sustained, to come. Don't spin it out too long, long breath, he breath, long life. Soaring high, high resplendent, aflame, crowned, high in the effulgence symbol symbolistic, high of the ethereal bosom, high of the high vast irradiation everywhere, all soaring all around about the all, the endlessness -ness -ness to me siopold consumed come well sung all clapped she ought to come to me to him to her you too me us bravo clap clap good man simon clappy clap clap encore clap clip clap clap sound as a bell bravo simon clap 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 encore on clap said cried clapped all Ben Dollard, Lydia Deuce, George Lidwell, Pat, Mina Kennedy, two gentlemen with two tankards, Cowley, first gent with tank and bronze Miss Deuce and gold Miss Mina. Blazes Boylan's smart tan shoes creaked on the bar floor, said before. Jingle by monuments of Sir John Gray, Horatio one-handled Nelson, Reverend Father Theobald Matthew, jaunted as said before just now a trot in heat heat seated cloche sonella cloche sonella slower the mare went up the hill by the rotunda rutland square too slow for boylan blazes boylan impatience boylan joggled the mare an after clang of cowley's cords closed died on the air made richer and Richie Goulding drank his power, and Leopold Bloom his cider drank, Lidwell his Guinness, second gentleman said they would partake of two more tankards if she did not mind. Miss Kennedy smirked, disserving, coral lips at first at second. She did not mind. Seven days in jail, Ben Dollard said, on bread and water, then you'd sing Simon like a garden thrush. Lionel Simon, singer, laughed. Father Bob Cowley played. Mina Kennedy served. Second gentleman paid. Tom Kernan strutted in. Lydia admired, admired. But Bloom sang dumb. Admiring. Richie, admiring, descanted on that man's glorious voice. He remembered one night long ago. Never forget that night. She sang. Twas rank and fame. In Ned Lambert's twas. Good God, he never heard in all his life a note like that he never did, then, false one, we had better part so clear, so God, he never heard since love lives, not a clinking voice lives, not ask Lambert, he can tell you, too. Goulding, a flush, struggling in his pale, told Mr. Bloom, face of the night, see in Ned Lambert's, Dedalus house, sang, twas rank and fame. He, Mr. Bloom, listened while he, Richie Goulding, told him, "'Twas Mr. Bloom. He, Mr. Bloom, listened while he, Richie Goulding, told him, Mr. Bloom, of the night he, Richie, heard him, see Dedalus, sing, "'Twas rank and fame in his, Ned Lambert's house. Brothers-in-law, relations, we never speak as we pass by. Rift in the lute, I think, treats him with scorn, see, he admires him all the more. The night he sang. The night she sang. The human voice, two tiny silky chords, wonderful more than all others. That voice was a lamentation. Calmer now. 
It's in the silence after you feel you hear. Vibrations. Now silent air. Bloom ungived his crisscrossed hands, and with slack fingers plucked the slender catgut thong. He drew and plucked. It buzz, it twanged. While Goulding talked of Barraclough's voice production, while Tom Carnan, harking back in a retrospective sort of arrangement, talked to listening Father Cowley, who played a voluntary, who nodded as he played. While Big Ben Dollard talked with Simon Dedalus, lighting, who nodded as he smoked, who smoked. Thou lost one. All songs on that theme. Yet more bloom stretched his string. Cruel, it seems. Let people get fond of each other, lure them on, then tear asunder. Death, explose, knock on the head. Out a hell of that, human life, dignam, ugh, that rat's tail wriggling, five bob I gave, corpus paradisum, corn-cake croaker, belly like a poisoned pup, gone. They sing, forgotten, I too, and one day she with, leave her, get tired, suffer then, snivel, big Spanishy eyes goggling at nothing, her wavy, avy, heavy, 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 yeavy, heavy hair uncombed. Yet too much happy bores. He stretched more, more. Are you not happy in your— Twang! It snapped. Jingle into Dorset Street. Miss Deuce withdrew her satiny arm, reproachful, pleased. Don't make half so free, said she, till we are better acquainted. George Lidwell told her really and truly, but she did not believe. First gentleman told Mina that was so. She asked him was that so, and second tankard told her so, that that was so. Miss Deuce, Miss Lydia, did not believe. Miss Kennedy, Mina, did not believe. George Lidwell, no. Miss Dew did not. The first, the first, gent with the tank, believe, no, no, did not, Miss Ken. Lid Lydia well, the tank. Better write it here. Quills in the post-office chewed and twisted. Bald Pat, at a sign, drew nigh. A pen and ink, he went. A pad, he went. A pad to blot. He heard, deaf Pat. Yes, Mr. Bloom said, teasing the curling catgut line. It certainly is. Few lines will do. My present. All that Italian florid music is. Who this wrote? Know the name you know better. Take out sheet, note-paper, envelope, unconcerned. It's so characteristic. Grandest number in the whole opera, Goulding said. It is, Bloom said. Numbers it is. All music, when you come to think. Two multiplied by two divided by half is twice one. Vibrations. Chords those are. One plus two plus six is seven. Do anything you like with figures juggling. Always find out this equal to that. Symmetry under a cemetery wall. He doesn't see my mourning. Callous, all for his own gut. Muse mathematics. And you think you're listening to the ethereal, but suppose you said it like, Martha, seven times nine minus x is thirty-five thousand. Fall quite flat. It's on account of the sounds it is. Instance he's playing now, improvising. Might be what you like, till you hear the words. Want to listen sharp, hard. Begin all right, then hear chords a bit off. Feel lost a bit. In and out of sacks, over barrels, through wire fences, obstacle race. Time makes the tune. Question of mood you're in. Still always nice to hear. Except scales up and down, girls learning. Two together next door neighbors. Ought to invent dummy pianos for that. Blumenlied I bought for her, the name. Playing it slow, a girl, night I came home, the girl. Door of the stables near Cecilia Street. Millie no taste. Queer, because we both, I mean. Bald deaf Pat brought quite flat pad ink. Pat set with ink pen quite flat pad. Pat took plate dish knife fork. Pat went. It was the only language Mr. Dedalus said to Ben. He heard them as a boy in Ringabella, Crosshaven, Ringabella singing their barcarolles. Queenstown Harbour full of Italian ships. Walking, you know, Ben, in the moonlight with those earthquake hats. Blending their voices. 
God, such music, Ben, heard as a boy, cross Ringabella Haven Mooncarol. Sour pipe removed, he held a shield of hand beside his lips that cooed a moonlight night call, clear from a near, a call from afar, replying. Down the edge of his free man baton ranged blooms, your other eye, scanning for where did I see that? Callan, Coleman, Dignam, Patrick, hey ho, hey ho, Fawcett, aha, just I was looking. Hope he's not looking, cute as a rat. He held unfurled his freeman. Can't see now. Remember, write Greek S. Bloom dipped. Blue mur. Dear sir. Dear Henry wrote. Dear Maddie. Got your let and flow. Hell did I put. Some pock or oth. It is utter impos. Underline impos. To write today. Bore this. Bored Bloom tambourined gently with I am just reflecting fingers on flat pad pat brought. On. Know what I mean. No, change that E. Accept my poor lit prez and close. Ask her no ants. Hold on. Five dig. Two about here. Penny the gulls. Elijah is come. Seven Davy Burns. Eight is about. Say half a crown. My poor little prez. P. O. Two and six. Write me along. Do you despise? Jingle, have you the— So excited. Why do you call me naught? You naughty too? Oh, Myrie lost the string of her. Buy for to-day. Yes, yes, we'll tell you. Want to, to keep it up. Call me that other, other world, she wrote. My patients are exhaust. To keep it up, you must believe, believe, the tank, it, is, true. Folly am I writing? Husbands don't. That's marriage does, their wives. Because I'm away from, suppose, but how, she must, keep young. If she found out. Card in my high grade. Ha! No, not tell all. Useless pain, if they don't see. Woman. Sauce for the gander. A hackney car, number 324, driver Barton James of number 1 Harmony Avenue, Donnybrook, on which sat a fair, a young gentleman, stylishly dressed, in an indigo-blue serge suit made by George Robert Messias, tailor and cutter, of number five Eden K, and wearing a straw hat very dressy, bought of John Plasto of number one Great Brunswick Street, Hatter. Eh? This is the jingle that joggled and jingled. By Dlucad's pork shop, bright tubes of Agendath trotted a gallant buttocked mare. Answering an ad? Keen Richie's eyes asked Bloom. Yes, Mr. Bloom said, town traveller, nothing doing, I expect. Bloom Murr. Best references. But Henry wrote, It will excite me. You know how. In haste. Henry. Greek E. Better add postscript. What is he playing now? Improvising. Intermezzo. P.S. The rum tum tum. How will you pun? You punish me? Crooked skirt swinging, whack by. Tell me I want to. No. Oh. Course if I didn't, I wouldn't ask. La 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 re. Trails off there, sad in minor. Why minor sad? Sign H. They like sad tale at end. P.P.S. La 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 re. I feel so sad today. La re. So lonely. D. He blotted quick on pad of pat. Envel. Address. Just copy out of paper. Murmured. Messrs. Callan, Coleman, and Company Limited. Henry wrote. Miss Martha Clifford, care of P.O., Dolphin's Barn Lane, Dublin. Blot over the other so he can't read. There, right. Idea prize titbit. Something detective read off blotting pad. Payment at the rate of guinea per call. Matcham often thinks the laughing witch. Poor Mrs. Purefoy. U.P. Up. Too poetical that about the sad. Music did that. Music hath charms, Shakespeare said. Quotations every day in the year, to be or not to be, wisdom while you wait. In Gerard's rosary of Fetter Lane he walks. Grey a dow burn. One life is all, one body do, but do. 
Done, anyhow. Postal order, stamp, post office lower down. Walk now. Enough. Barney Kiernan's I promised to meet them. Dislike that job. House of mourning. Walk. Pat. Doesn't hear. Deaf beetle he is. Car near there now. Talk, talk. Pat. Doesn't. Settling those napkins. Lot of ground he must cover in the day. Paint face behind on him, then he'd be too. Wish they'd sing more. Keep my mind off. Bald Pat, who is bothered, mitred the napkins. Pat is a waiter hard of his hearing. Pat is a waiter who waits while you wait. He 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 he, he waits while you wait. He he, a waiter is he. He 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 he, he waits while you wait. While you wait, if you wait, he will wait while you wait. He 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 ho, wait while you wait. Deuce now, deuce Lydia, bronze and rose. She had a gorgeous, simply gorgeous time, and look at the lovely shell she brought. To the end of the bar to him she bore lightly the spiked and winding sea horn that he, George Lidwell, solicitor, might hear. Listen, she bade him. Under Tom Kernan's gin hot words the accompanist wove music slow. Authentic fact. How Walter Bapti lost his voice. Well, sir, the husband took him by the throat. Scoundrel, said he, you'll sing no more love songs. He did, faith, Sir Tom. Bob Cowley wove. Tenors get womb. Cowley lay back. Ah, now he heard, she holding it to his ear. Here, he heard. Wonderful. She held it to her own, and through the sifted light, pale gold in contrast gilded. To hear. Tap. Bloom through the bar door saw a shell held at their ears. He heard more faintly that they heard, each for herself alone, than each for other, hearing the plash of waves, loudly a silent roar. Bronze by a weary gold, anear, afar, they listened. Her ear, too, is a shell, the peeping lobe there, been to the seaside, lovely seaside girls, skin tanned raw, should have put on cold cream first to make it brown, buttered toast. Oh, and that lotion mustn't forget. Fever near her mouth. Your head it simply, hair braided over, shell with seaweed. Why do they hide their ears with seaweed hair? And Turks the mouth, why? Her eyes over the sheet, yashmak, find the way in, a cave, no admittance except on business. The sea they think they hear, singing, a roar. The blood it is, souse in the ear sometimes. Well, it's a sea, corpuscle islands. Wonderful, really, so distinct. Again, George Lidwell held its murmur, hearing, then laid it by gently. What are the wild waves saying? he asked her, smiled. Charming, see smiling and unanswering Lydia on Lidwell smiled. Tap. By Larry O'Rourke's, by Larry, bold Larry O. Boylan swayed and Boylan turned. From the forsaken shell, Miss Mina glided to her tankards waiting. No, she was not so lonely, archly, Miss Deuce's head let Mr. Lidwell know. Walks in the moonlight by the sea. No, not alone. With whom? She nobly answered, With a gentleman friend. Bob Cowley's twinkling fingers in the treble played again. The landlord has the prior. A little time. Long John. Big Ben. Lightly he played a light, bright, tinkling measure for tripping ladies, arch and smiling, and for their gallants, gentlemen friends. One. One, 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 one. Two, one, three, four. Sea, wind, leaves, thunder, waters, cows lowing, the cattle market, cocks, hens don't crow, snakes hiss. There's music everywhere. Rutledge's door, e creaking. No, that's noise. Minuet of Don Giovanni he's playing now. Court dresses of all descriptions in castle chambers dancing. Misery. Peasants outside. Green starving faces eating dock leaves. Nice that is. Look. Look, 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 look. You look at us. That's joyful, I can feel. Never have written it. Why? My joy is other joy, but both are joys. Yes, joy it must be. 
Mere fact of music shows you are. Often thought she was in the dumps till she began to lilt. Then no. McCoy Valise, my wife and your wife, squealing cat, like tearing silk. Tongue when she talks like the clapper of a bellows. They can't manage men's intervals, gap in their voices, too. Fill me, I'm warm, dark, open. Molly in qui est homo, mercadante. My ear against the wall to hear. Want a woman who can deliver the goods. Jog, jig, jog, stopped. Dandy tan shoe of dandy boilin' socks. Sky blue clocks came light to earth. Oh, look, we are so. Chamber music. Could make a kind of pun on that. It is a kind of music I often thought when she. Acoustics, that is, tinkling. Empty vessels make most noise. Because the acoustics, the resonance changes according as the weight of the water is equal to the law of falling water. Like those rhapsodies of Liszt's, Hungarian, gypsy eyed, pearls, drops, rain, diddle idle addle addle oodle oodle, hiss. Now, maybe now, before. One rapped on a door, one tapped with a knock. Did he knock Paul de Cock with a loud, proud knocker with a cock? Cara, 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 cock, cock, cock. Tap. Quis degno, said Ben. Quis degno, Ben, said Father Cowley. No, Ben, Tom Kernan interfered. The croppy boy, our native Doric. I do, Ben, Mr. Dedalus said, good men and true. Do, do, they begged in one. I'll go. Here, Pat, return, come. He came, he came. He did not stay. To me, how much? What key? Six sharps? F sharp major, Ben Dollard said. Bob Cowley's outstretched talons griped the black deep sounding chords. Must go, Prince Bloom told Richie Prince. No, Richie said. Yes, must. Got money somewhere. He's on for a razzle backache spree. Much? He see here's lip speech. One and nine. Penny for yourself. Here, give him tuppence tip. Deaf, bothered, but perhaps he has wife and family waiting, waiting Patty come home. He 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 he, deaf, wait while they wait. But wait, but here, chords dark, lugugugubrious, low, in a cave of the dark middle earth, embedded ore, lump music. The voice of dark age, of unlove, earth's fatigue made grave approach and painful, come from afar, from hoary mountains, called on good men and true. The priest he sought. With him would he speak a word. Tap. Ben Dollard's voice, bass barrel tone, doing his level best to say it. Croak of vast, manless, moonless, womanless marsh. Other come down. Big ship's chandler's business he did once. Remember, rosiny ropes, ship's lanterns. Failed to the tune of ten thousand pounds. Now in the Ivig home. Cubicle number so-and-so. Number one base did that for him. The priest's at home. A false priest's servant bade him welcome. Step in, the Holy Father. With bows a traitor servant. Curly cues of cords. Ruin them, wreck their lives, then build them cubicles to end their days in. Hushabye, lullaby, die, dog, little dog, die. The voice of warning, solemn warning, told them the youth had entered a lonely hall, told them how solemn fell his footsteps there, told them the gloomy chamber, the vested priest sitting to shrive. Decent soul, bit addled now, thinks he'll win in answers, poet's picture puzzle. We hand you crisp five-pound note. Bird sitting, hatching in a nest. Lay of the last minstrel, he thought it was. See blank T, what domestic animal? T-R, most courageous mariner. Good voice he has still. No eunuch yet, with all his belongings. Listen. Bloom listened. Richie Golding listened. And by the door, deaf Pat, bald Pat, tipped Pat, listened. The chords harped slower. The voice of penance and of grief came slow, embellished, tremulous. Ben's contrite beard confessed. In nomine domini, in God's name he knelt. 
he beat his hand upon his breast, confessing, Mea culpa. Latin again, that holds them like bird lime, priest with the communion corpus for those women, chap in the mortuary, coffin or coffee corpus nomine. Wonder where that rat is by now. Scrape, tap. They listened, Hankards and Miss Kennedy, George Lidwell, I Lidwell expressive, full busted satin, Kernan, sigh. The sighing voice of sorrow sang, his sins, since Easter he had cursed three times, you bitches bast, and once at mass time he had gone to play, once by the churchyard he had passed, and for his mother's rest he had not prayed, a boy, a croppy boy. Bronze, listening by the beer-pole, gazed far away, soulfully. Doesn't half know I'm. Molly great dab at seeing anyone looking. Bronze gazed far sideways. Mirror there. Is that best side of her face? They always know. Knock at the door. Last tip to titivate. cock cara cara What do they think when they hear music? Way to catch rattlesnakes. Night Michael Gunn gave us the box. Tuning up. Shah of Persia liked that best. Remind him of home sweet home. Wiped his nose in curtain, too. Custom his country, perhaps. That's music, too. Not as bad as it sounds. Tootling. Brasses braying asses through up-trunks. Double basses helpless, gashes in their sides. Woodwinds mooing cows. Semi-grand open crocodile music hath jaws. Woodwind, like Goodwind's name. She looked fine. Her crocus dress she wore low-cut, belongings on show. Clove her breath was always in theatre when she bent to ask a question. Told her what Spinoza says in that book of poor Papa's. Hypnotized, listening, eyes like that. She bent. Chap in dress-circle staring down into her with his opera-glass for all he was worth. Beauty of music you must hear twice. Nature woman half a look. God made the country, man the tune, met him pike hoses, philosophy, O oh, rocks. All gone, all fallen, at the siege of Ross his father, at Gory all his brothers fell. To Wexford, we are the boys of Wexford, he would, last of his name and race. I too, last of my race, Millie young student. Well, my fault, perhaps. No son. Rudy? Too late now. Or if not, if not, if still? He bore no hate. Hate, love, those are names. Rudy, soon I am old. Big Ben, his voice unfolded. Great voice, Richie Goulding, said, a flush, struggling in his pale, to bloom soon old. But when was young? Ireland comes now, my country above the king, she listens. Who fears to speak of nineteen-four? Time to be shoving. Looked enough. Bless me, father, dollard, the croppy cried. Bless me and let me go. Tap. Bloom looked, unblessed, to go. Got up to kill, on eighteen bob a week. Fellows shell out the dibs. Want to keep your weather eye open, those girls, those lovely, by the sad sea-waves. Chorus girls romance. Letters read out for breach of promise. From Chickabiddy's owny mumpsy pum. Laughter in court. Henry. I never signed it. The lovely name you. Low sank the music, air and words. Then hastened. The false priest rustling soldier from his cassock. A yeoman captain. They know it all by heart. The thrill they itch for. Yeoman cap. Tap, tap. Thrilled, she listened, bending in sympathy to hear. Blank face. Virgin, should say, or fingered only. Write something on it. Page. If not, what becomes of them? Decline, despair. Keeps them young. Even admire themselves. See? Play on her. Lip blow. Body of white woman. A flute alive. Blow gentle. Loud. Three holes, all women. Goddess, I didn't see. They want it. Not too much polite. That's why he gets them. Gold in your pocket, brass in your face. Say something. Make her hear. With look to look. Songs without words. Molly, that hurdy-gurdy boy. She knew he meant the monkey was sick, or because so like the Spanish. 
Understand animals, too, that way, Solomon did, gift of nature. Ventriloquies, my lips closed, think in my stomach, what? Will, you, I, want, you, too? With hoarse, rude fury the yeoman cursed, swelling an apoplectic bitch's bastard. A good thought, boy, to come. One hour's your time to live, your last. Tap, tap. Thrill now, pity they feel, to wipe away a tear for martyrs that want to, dying to die. For all things dying, for all things born. Poor Mrs. Purefoy, hope she's over, because they're wombs. A liquid of womb of woman eyeball gazed under a fence of lashes, calmly hearing. See real beauty of the eye when she not speaks. On yonder river. At each slow, satiny, heaving bosom's wave. Her heaving embon. Red rose, rose, slowly sank red rose. Heart beats, her breath, breath that is life. And all the tiny, tiny fern foils trembled of maiden hair. But look! The bright stars fade, O oh, Rose, Castile, the morn, ha, Lidwell, for him not, for him then not for, infatuated, I like that, see her from here, though, popped corks, splashes of beer froth, stacks of empties. On the smooth jutting beer pole laid Lydia hand, lightly, plumply, leave it to my hands, all lost in pity for croppy, fro to, to fro, over the polished knob, she knows his eyes, my eyes, her eyes, her thumb and finger passed in pity, passed, reposed, and, gently touching, then slid so smoothly, sliding down, a cool, firm, white enamel baton protruding through their sliding ring. With a cock, with a cara. Tap, tap, tap. I hold this house, amen. He gnashed in fury, traitors swing. The cords consented. Very sad thing, but had to be. Get out before the end. Thanks, that was heavenly. Where's my hat? Pass by her. Can leave the freeman. Letter I have. Suppose she were the— No, walk, walk, walk. Like Cashel, Boilo, Conoro, Coilo, Tisdall, Maurice, Tisn't Dal, Farrell. Walk. Well, I must be. Are you off? You're from spies. Bloomst up. Or oh, rye high blue. Ow. Bloom stood up. Soap feeling rather sticky behind. Must have sweated. Music. That lotion. Remember. Well, so long. High grade. Card inside. Yes. By deaf pat in the doorway, straining ear, Bloom passed. At Geneva Barrack that young man died. At passage was his body laid. Dolor. Oh, he Dolores. The voice of the mournful chanter called to Dolores' prayer. By rose, by satiny bosom, by the fondling hand, by slops, by empties, by popped corks, greeting and going, past eyes and maiden hair, bronze and faint gold in deep sea shadow, went bloom, soft bloom, I feel so lonely bloom. Tap, tap, tap. Pray for him, prayed the base of Dollard. You who hear in peace, breathe a prayer, drop a tear, good men, good people. He was the croppy boy. Scaring, eavesdropping, boots, croppy boots boy bloom in the Ormond hallway, heard the growls and roars of bravo, fat back-slapping, their boots all treading, boots, not the boots, the boy. General chorus, off for a swill to wash it down, glad I avoided. "'Come on, Ben,' Simon Dedalus cried. "'By God, you're as good as ever you were.' "'Better,' said Tom Jin Kernan. "'Most trenchant rendition of that ballad upon my soul and honour, it is it.' "'It is.' "'La Blache,' said Father Cowley. "'Ben Dollard bulkily cachicad towards the bar, "'mightily praise-fed, and all big roseate on heavy-footed feet, "'his gouty fingers knackering castanets in the air.' Big Benaben Dollard, Big Benben, -ben, Big Benben, Rrrr. And deep moved all, Simon trumping compassion from foghorn nose, all laughing they brought him forth, Ben Dollard, in right good cheer. You're looking rubicund, George Lidwell said. Miss Deuce composed her rose to wait. 
"'Ben McCree,' said Mr. Dedalus, clapping Ben's fat back shoulder-blade. "'Fit as a fiddle only has a lot of adipose tissue concealed about his person.' "'Rrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
wonder how it first struck him. Sitting at home after pig's cheek and cabbage nursing it in the armchair, rehearsing his band part, pom, pompity, jolly for the wife, asses' skins, welt them through life, then wallop after death, pom, wallop, seems to be what you call yashmak, or I mean kismet, fate. A stripling, blind, with a tapping cane, came tap-tap-tapping by Dally's window, where a mermaid hair, all streaming, but he couldn't see, blew whiffs of a mermaid. Blind couldn't. Mermaid. Coolest whiff of all. Instruments. A blade of grass. Shell of her hands. Then blow. Even comb and tissue paper you can knock a tune out of. Molly in her shift in Lombard Street West. Hair down. I suppose each kind of trade made its own, don't you see? Hunter with a horn, haw, have you the cloche, sonne la, shepherd his pipe, pui little wee, policeman a whistle, locks and keys, sweep, four o'clock all's well, sleep. All is lost now, drum, pompity, wait, I know, town crier, bum bailiff, long john, waken the dead, pom, dignum, poor little nominee dominee, pom, it is music. I mean, of course, it's all pom-pom-pom very much what they call da capo. Still, you can hear. As we march, we march along, march along. Pom. I must, really. <laughs> now, if I did that at a banquet. Just a question of custom, Shah of Persia. Breathe a prayer, drop a tear. All the same, he must have been a bit of a natural not to see it was a yeoman cap. Muffled up. Wonder who was that chap at the grave in the brown mackin. Oh, the whore of the lane! A frowsy whore with black straw sailor hat askew came glazily in the day along the quay towards Mr. Bloom. When first he saw that form endearing, yes, it is. I feel so lonely. Wet night in the lane. Horn. Who had the hee-haw she saw? Off her beat there. What is she? Hope she. Psst! Any chance of your wash? New Molly. Had me decked. Stout lady does be with you in the brown costume. Put you off your stroke, that. Appointment we made, knowing we'd never, well, hardly ever. Too dear, too near to home, sweet home. Sees me, does she? Looks a fright in the day. Face like a dip. Damn her. Oh, well, she has to live like the rest. Look in here. In Lionel Marx's antique sale shop window, haughty Henry Lionel Leopold, dear Henry Flower, earnestly Mr. Leopold Bloom, envisaged, Battered candlesticks, melodeon, oozing maggoty blow bags. Bargain, six bob. Might learn to play. Cheap. Let her pass. Of course, everything is dear if you don't want it. That's what good salesman is. Make you buy what he wants to sell. Chap sold me the Swedish razor he shaved me with. Wanted to charge me for the edge he gave it. She's passing now. Six bob. Must be the cider. Or perhaps the burgund. Near bronze from a near, near gold from afar, they chinked their clinking glasses all, bright-eyed and gallant, before bronze Lydia's tempting last rose of summer, rose of Castile. First Lyd, D, Cow, Ker, Dahl, a fifth, Lidwell, Cy, Dedalus, Bob Cowley, Kernan, and Big Ben Dollard. Tap! A youth entered a lonely Ormond hall. Bloom viewed a gallant pictured hero in Lionel Marx's window. Robert Emmett's last words, seven last words, of Meyerbeer, that is. True men like you, men. Aye, aye, Ben. We'll lift your glass with us. They lifted. Chink, chunk, tip. An unseeing stripling stood in the door. He saw not bronze, he saw not gold. Nor Ben, nor Bob, nor Tom, nor Cy, nor George, nor Tanks, nor Richie, nor Pat. He, 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 he did not see. Sea bloom, grease a bloom, viewed last words, softly, when my country takes her place among. Purr, purr, must be the burr. F, ooh, rupper. Nations of the earth. No one behind, she's past. Then and not till then. Tram, cran, cran, cran. Good opper, coming. Crandall, cran, cran. I'm sure it's the burgund. Yes, one, two. Let my epitaph be. Cra. Written I have. Perf, perf. Done. 
End of chapter 11b. Read by Kara Schallenberg. www.kray.org. On June 16, 2006, in Oceanside, California.